Okay, so let us start. Uh, today uh, we will discuss about an approximation theorem called Weierstrass approximation theorem. Weierstrass approximation theorem. So, statement of this result is uh, that f a b to r a continuous function then there exists a sequence of polynomial sequence of polynomial pm such that EN tends to F uniformly on AB. Uh, what is the significance of this uh, theorem? So, So let uh, we will denote uh, C A B. This is the set of all continuous function on A B. And denote by P A V. So this is set of all polynomial contained in A V. Okay. Contained in C A V. So this theorem says that uh, EAB, so this theorem says that the PAV pays the same rule. In CAV, as set of all rational numbers sorry, all rationals in R. So by density poverty, we know that every real number can be approximated by rational number, right? So Suppose uh, pi is a irrational number and take any epsilon greater than zero. Okay, so density poverty says that density poverty says that there exists a rational number. R such so that pi minus R less than epsilon. So 
in any uh, numerical computation so by density property you can replace pi by rational number okay so similarly similarly if we are given suppose uh, f is a highly complicated continuous function continuous function on suppose zero okay and uh, suppose uh, we are interested We are interested to we are interested sorry we are interested suppose we are interested in numerical approximation numerical approximation of the integral f dt 0 to 1 of this so since it is a highly completed graph so it is very difficult to um, compute uh, this integral directly but uh, see that so this theorem by this theorem uh, Wister's theorem so suppose epsilon is a if greater than 0 epsilon greater than 0 then there exists a polynomial E such that P of T minus F of T less than epsilon. Okay. So this implies so integration zero to one P of T minus F of T this is Less or equal to zero to one p of t minus f of t. So this is less than epsilon. So see that if your uh, error tolerance is epsilon, so and polynomial is easy to compute. Uh, so integration of a polynomial is easy to compute. Then this is the important of this uh, importance of this theorem, Oyster's approximation theorem. So, in any so in numerical analysis, so you can replace this integration by this polynomial integration. So, integration of the polynomial. Okay, there are so many uh, application of this theorem. So, we are not going to discuss that. But okay, so now we are going to prove this theorem. So before going to prove this theorem, I'd like to Mention a couple of remarks. So, first one is uh, so first remark is without. Laws of generality. Uh, 
Mimi azimu. AB, just replace this code interval by 0, 1. So, why? So, see. Uh, consider this function. Uh, take uh, a function. So, so, take g from 0, 1 to AB. Defined by G of T equal to A plus T into B minus A. So see that T of 0 equal to A and T of 1 equal to B. Okay. So this is a uh, bijective and a continuous map. So this is a bijective and continuous math with the uh, G inverse of T is equal to Sorry, t minus t minus a by b minus a. Uh, it is easy to check. So, and uh, see that this is also uh, g inverse is also continuous. Also, check that. Uh, nothing to change actually. G inverse is also continuous. So, so given uh, now given any continuous function that was f a b to r and see that so if uh, your g is from 0, 1 to AV and if is given any uh, continuous function on AV so we want to approximate F okay on this interval so see so F compose G is also a continuous function on 0, 1 So if we approximate, uh, so so in this theorem, as uh, you also claim that, so remark on that. So without loss of generality, we may assume a b equals zero one. So that is that means, so if this theorem is true on this interval, then this is true on this interval also, and any any on any arbitrary interval, right? So assume that any continuous function can be approximated by polynomial uniformly on zero one. Okay. So if this function can be approximated on 0, 1 by polynomial, so suppose Pn is a sequence of polynomial such that Pn tends to a G uniformly. Okay. So Pn converges to a G uniformly. On zero one, but we want to approximate f. We want to approximate f on a, right? So now define q n x equal to p n compose g inverse x. Note that g inverse is given by this function. So G inverse is this. So this is Pn of G inverse of X 
this is x minus, sorry, x minus a by b minus a. So, if, uh, so Pn is a polynomial. This implies Pn of x minus a. This is also polynomial in x. So check that. Qn tends to f uniformly on m. So we have to check. So this is easy. Okay. Big exercise for so remote two. So similarly, so we may assume. f of 0 equal to f of 1 equal to 0. So note that this f is same as in the statement of this theorem f. Okay. So by remark 1, we can take a B equal to just zero one close interval. So in remark two, we can take f of zero equal to f of one equal to zero. Why? So um, see, consider this is easy. So consider G equal to so G of X equal to f of x minus f of 0 minus x into f of 1 minus f of 0. So note that uh, g of 0 equal to, so g of 0 equal to 0 and g of 1 equal to, this is f of 1 minus 0. 1 into f of 1 minus 0. So this is also 0. So if this theorem is true for G, so that is if there is just a sequence of polynomial Pn, sequence of polynomial Pn such that Pn tends to G uniformly. On zero one, then see uh, okay, define similarly define q n x equal to p n x. So we construct a polynomial q n. So see, so p n tends to uh, converges to G. So G equal to this. So, so just take Qn equal to Pn plus f of 0 plus this quantity, this term. So x into f of 1 minus f of 0. So Pn is a polynomial. So this is constant and this is constant. So this is also polynomial. So Qn is also polynomial, right? So check that, again check that, so check that, it is easy to check, the Qn tends to F uniformly on 0, 1. Okay? 
uh, with this two remark, keep in mind, we will prove this theorem for, we will prove this theorem for F 0, 1 to R and F of 0 equal to F of 1 equal to 0. Okay. Proof. So uh, this proof is just actually constructive. So uh, idea is uh, we will first cons construct a polynomial, sequence of polynomial, then we will show that the we will construct a polynomial, then we will show that this polynomial converges to F uniformly. Okay. So for this, uh, we okay. So first we define F to be zero. Outside this interval. Okay. Then F is uniformly continuous on whole real line. So we set uh, Q and X equal to C N one minus X squared to the power N or N equal to one to three dot of N. So C is we choose C N in such a way such that minus one to one u and x dx equal to 1. Oh. Now we need some information about cn. So for this uh, we compute uh, indication minus 1 to 1 u and x not q and x so just Compute one minus x squared to the power n dx. So, so since uh, see that this is a even function. So this imply equal to zero to one. 1 minus x squared to the power n dx. So this can be written as 0 to 1 by root n plus 1 by root n to 1, 1 minus x squared to the power n dx. Okay, so this is greater than or equal to 2 into 0 to root over, sorry, 1 by root n, 1 minus x squared to the power n dx. Why? Mm, so 
Now see, the, 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 this term is greater than or equal to zero. Uh, so for, for this term, so the, see, so x less or equal to one, so one minus x square greater than or equal to zero. So this implies one minus x square to the power n, this is also greater than or equal to zero. So indication one by root into one dx greater than or equal to zero. So this term is positive, so we can write this greater than or equal to this. So then again minus one to one. 1 minus x squared to the power n dx greater than or equal to 2 into 0 to 1 by root n. So this is greater than or equal to 1 minus n x squared dx. Why? So check this is greater than or equal to this. So just consider a function g equal to 1 minus x squared to the power n minus 1 minus n x squared. So that g of 0 equal to 0 and g is increasing. Okay. So from this fact, we can say that this integration is greater than or equal to this. So this is 2 into, so by in integration, so this is x minus n x cube by 3, 0 to 1 by root n. This is equal to 1 by root n minus, so this is n root n, so n n, uh, so this is n by root n, so this is 1 by root n into c. So this is 2 root n by 3, so this is uh, 4 by 3 root n. And this is strictly greater than 1 by root n. So see that uh, un, un x equal to this. And integration minus 1 to 1, this is equal to 1. So Right, this is as two so from two and right, this is as three. So from so it follows from two and t that Cn less than root n. DS4. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Uh wasn't it possible to calculate uh, the integral directly, like one minus x square to the power n? D1. Hmm. Integration 0 to 1, 1 minus x square to the power n. Doesn't we, uh, I, I think we have an expression with beta function uh, uh, about this integral. That is complicated. Why we just need an uh, estimate for Cn. We don't need so, the exact value of Cn. No, no, we don't need this. Is it okay. We just, uh, just, uh, we, just an estimate is enough for this case. So now we define 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 our polynomial. So define P and X 
equal to minus one to one. Okay, so before going to define this polynomial, so okay, right, this is S5. We need another estimate. So claim a QN, uh, so take delta greater than zero. So let delta greater than zero. Be a positive real number. We claim that even tends to zero uniformly. on this two of the three also since uh, delta less or equal to x less or equal to one this implies delta square so all are positive real numbers so this x squared one minus one minus x square add one both sides so one i sorry zero one minus x square less or equal to one minus delta square so from this and on four, so C n less or equal to root uh, sorry, strictly less than root n. So from four and last calculation, so from four and above calculation. We get that. What the q n x strictly less than root n one minus delta square to the power n. So q n was so q n was c n one minus x square to the power n. So c n is strictly less than root n and one minus x square to the power n. So this is also positive, this is also positive. So one minus x squared to the power n is equal to one minus delta square to the power n. Okay. So q n is uniformly bounded, and uh, from this, so clearly q n tends to zero. Uniformly on this. So mark this. This five. Six. So why it is clear? So uh, see that. Is it okay? So Q and tends to zero uniformly on this. So see that uh, this is less than one. So root n into a to the power n tends to zero. As n tends to infinity. If we so take a is positive, so a less than one. In fact, uh, n into root over a to the power n is n into a to the power n is tends to zero. 
और दीजिए ओके सो सी दैट योर वन माइनस डेल्टा स्क्वायर इज लेस देन वन एंड रूट एन सो दिस इज दिस इज दिस इज टेंस टू जीरो so this is not okay i i i will prove this later okay now from 5 we five was this so minus 1 to 1 if of x plus t u and t dt So right, right it as minus one to minus x. If of x plus t q and t dt plus minus one to one minus x dt plus one minus x to one. So see that uh, if t so for this case for this integral so okay write it as i one i two plus i three so in case of i one so t is less than minus x. Greater than minus one, so this implies x minus one t e plus x less or equal to zero. So note that our f our f was identically zero, right? Outside this set, so f is zero or f is zero. So, so f is identically zero. So i one is this implies i one equal to zero. Similarly for i t, this integration is also zero because so here t is equal to one and greater than equal to one minus x. So p plus x. Is equal to one plus x, so this is greater than or equal to one on the right side of this integral. So here f is also identically zero. So these two integers, so this is in zero, this is zero. So p n x becomes so p n x is equal to minus x to one minus x x plus t. Twenty dt. So now, by change of variable, we get that p n x equal to zero to one. So f of t even t minus x dt. Is it okay? Just let x plus t equal to Another functions of a jet. Okay, let's do this. So, now, so uh, clearly, uh, this is a polynomial. P n is polynomial in X. Okay, next. Six 
modulus 7. So clearly, Pn is polynomial. in x because qn is a polynomial so our and integration is over here. so uh, one thing is that so uh, i have taken uh, f is real value so f my f was real value so this is also true for complex value function so if your f is uh, from a b to c a complex value function then this polynomial will be complex value function. Complex value polynomial. Okay. So see that complex value polynomial means coefficients are constants. Is it called complex? So in this, uh, so in this integration, so see that if if your f is real value, the polynomial will be real polynomial. And if it is complex value, the polynomial will be complex polynomial. Okay. So this uh, theorem is also true for complex value functions. Okay. So now, now we want to approximate. So now finally, finally we show that. Pn tends to F uniformly on zero one. So since uh, F is uniformly continuous fire on whole of R, then for every Epsilon greater than zero, there exists delta greater than zero such that such that x minus y less than delta implies fx minus f y less than epsilon y two okay so this is it now mode of p n x minus f x so this is equal to mode so this is this was the definition of pnx minus one doubt how yes. do we how how are we sure that pn is a polynomial see pnx so this indication is over t so only so the, 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 this is a function of x and qn is a polynomial right what was the qn? qn equal to 1 minus x square to the power n. This is a qn polynomial. And this integration is over t. And h is involved in qn, not in f. So if you, if, if you uh, see this part, this part, then from here it is not clear that qn is polynomial. Right? Because x is involved in f. Right? But if you see this, so x only involved in qn. qn is a polynomial. Uh, okay, got it. Right? So this, from here it is not clear. pn is polynomial. From here it is not clear. Qn is polynomial, but from this it, 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 it is clear because Qn is a polynomial. Yes. Yes. This this one. 
Integer is over t, and q n is polynomial. Oh, sorry, q n is half. Sorry, q n is polynomial. Then this is polynomial in x. So, so I can write f x minus one to one f x into q n t d t. Why? So, what was even so minus one to one q n equal to one, right? And this integration is over t, so I can uh, take uh, uh, f x inside integration. Okay, so this is equal to minus one to one f of x plus t minus f x into q n t d t. And note that uh, Qn is positive, always. So from here, I can write this as minus one to one f of x plus t minus f x into mod Q and t, but mod Q and t is equal is is Q and t because Q n is positive. Okay. So this is. Equal to minus one to right minus delta plus minus delta to plus delta the of x plus t minus f of x into q and t dt plus Delta to one identity is eight. Right, this is S. one. So, um, see that, uh, one. This is to write this is as I similar for write this as suppose J one, J two, J three. So J two equal to minus delta two plus delta f of x plus t minus f of x. Q and T D T. So from eight, uh, see that. So from eight. So x, if x minus y less than delta, then f x minus f y less than epsilon by two. So see that your T is less than delta to minus delta. So this can be written as x plus T minus x. Less than delta, right? Then from eight, we get J J two equal to this is less than F seven by two, right? F seven by two. Minus delta two plus delta, even t dt. J two lesser equal to this. Okay. And for J one J two, so now define m equal to supremum of f x. Okay. So J one equal to J one from. Uh, J one from minus one to minus delta, right? So minus one to minus delta. So minus one to minus delta. F of x plus t minus f x. Even t d d. 
So this is less or equal to 2m minus 1 to minus delta q and t dt. Similarly, j3 less or equal to 2m plus delta to 1 q and t dt. And note that the qn qn minus one to one qn equal to one, right? And minus delta to delta qn less or equal to minus one to one qn. This is one. So this part is less or equal to one. So this is less than epsilon y two. And uh, and what was Q and Q and so see that Q n less than root over n one minus delta square to the power n. Okay, for mod x less than delta less than n. So here I can write so this is 2m root over n 1 minus delta square to the power n. Similarly, for j2, I sorry, j1, this is also 2m root n 1 minus delta square sorry 2m root n 1 minus delta square to the power n so now enx minus fx this is less or equal to 4m root n 1 minus delta square to the power n plus epsilon by 2 and this is tends to 0 right so one can make this as less than epsilon. So this implies a en tends to f uniformly from zero. Good. Are you class taking a gunda? Greg? No, ha. I just a little time next in. I'm going to go on group for a while. So exercise oh, one. So, so, so write this. Uh, so let f zero one to r continuous function and zero to one x to the power n f dx equal to zero for all n belongs to natural number plus zero okay then so that f identically zero second one is so Consider this function g r theta r, r two r defined by g of x equal to zero or x 
less than zero and x x greater than zero so that g uh so that or any a belongs to r plus g can be uniformly approximated by polynomial on minus a to a on this interval okay uh, so that there does not exist any sequence of polynomial so that any sequence of polynomials suppose pn so that pn tends to f uniformly where a f of x equal to sin x on r whole in whole, whole, whole real line b f of x equal to a to the power x on r c f of x equal to 1 by x on 0 1 so, so example three, uh, sorry, exercise three is very important because see that uh, uh, one cannot uh, replace that compact interval zero one or AB on Oster's approximation theorem by on whole real line on open interval. Okay. Okay. So I should I stop here. So next day, Friday. I will discuss uh, some examples and doubts, whatever you want. Ah, I had a question. Hmm. Uh, in this Westras approximation, will the Taylor polynomials work? Hmm. Taylor polynomials. Um, that approximation is. Uh, Taylor polynomial is local, no? Taylor series is local, and you approximate here on an interval. This approximation is global approximation, right? Okay. 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 Any questions? And uh, just a request: Can you upload this and we learn uh, today the, the thing that you do? Okay. Oh, okay. sir, we'll do this, but um, actually. Uh, I can't do, uh, I can't access uh, Google and which is. So, Sarah will do this thing. Sarah will upload this uh, video. We'll learn by tomorrow, I think. Okay. Okay. So I should stop here. Thank you.